everyone, and welcome back to The Laptop Job. Looking for that income, the internet is a great place to earn money. There are plenty of ways to do it, and one of those ways is copying and pasting YouTube videos. The actual process where you find footage and audio online and put all the clips together to make a coherent video. You can then monetize it and earn up to hundreds a day. If you want to find out how, check out this list of steps. Today, we're going to be talking about how to make money copying and pasting videos. Make sure you stay into number one, as you don't want to miss a crucial step to earning money on YouTube. After you finish a video, you can find more ideas and all the resources you need to start your online business at thelaptopjob.com. Number one, go to Pexel's website. Pexels is a site that hosts tons of free stock photos and stock images. On this site, you can download as much as you like, and it's all 100% copyright free. This will help you avoid getting demonetized on YouTube. In order to create a stunning video, you need great visuals. The great thing about Pexels is that the site has high quality images and videos. No more digging through low quality images just to find one thing that is interesting. Just go onto the site and search something that pertains to your video. Maybe you want a fitness video, type in fitness and find all the images and videos you need. Once you find what you like, click on the image or video. This will open up a little window. Then click on free download and the footage should start downloading. Easy. And you don't even need an account to do this. Go to this site and start stockpiling footage to use for your videos. Number two, add a voiceover. If you watch a cool inspirational video, you may notice nice words being spoken over the top of the audio. These spoken words are usually motivational and talk about mindsets or other inspirational topics. A lot of these are spoken by successful people. This gives a video an impactful feeling to it. In order to make your video feel the same way, you should also add these kinds of voiceovers. Where can you get these without copyright issues? You can visit the Internet Archive. This is a great site if you're looking for archive books, audio files, video files, websites, software, and images. There are millions of files on this site. The best part is that a majority of these files are copyright free. First, you will go to the top of the page and click on audio. You'll want to find spoken word files. These will be great for when people just want to zone out and listen to your videos. Now, click on audio books and poetry. This page contains tens of thousands of items, so you will definitely need to narrow it down. Figure out what you are looking for, and then what people are going to want to hear in your videos. Type something into the search box, like getting rich, then hit enter. Then you can narrow it down by going to media type and checking audio. Then go through the assortment of audio and find something that interests you. Choose one and click on it. Check the license. Most will say public domain and CC. CC stands for Creative Commons, and that means you will be free to use this however you'd like. You can preview the audio from this page by clicking on the play button. You'll want to find something that is really inspirational and will fit your footage. Listen to the words being spoken. Do they resonate with you? When you find something you like, scroll down and go to the download box. There will be many file options, but just click on the download button next to an MP3 file. Then it will download right to your computer, and now you have great audio for your video. Number three, go to YouTube's audio library. What is a great video without great audio? YouTube has a ton of royalty-free tracks in their audio library. You can type in keywords like inspirational or motivational. Then from the drop-down menu, you can select a genre. There are plenty to choose from, such as ambient, classical, and pop. You can also select moods, instruments, and durations to narrow down your search even further. Then a list of songs will appear, all according to your specifications. You can sample these to see if you like them. Once you find something you like, go to the right side of the audio clip and click on the downward facing arrow. Then the file will download to your computer. You won't have to worry about any copyright issues or demonetization, as these are all cleared by YouTube. YouTube has provided users with these clips, so there shouldn't be any problems. Number four, edit a video. Next, you will be editing together a quick video using what you have gathered. First, you will need an editing software. If you have an Apple device, you can use iMovie. If not, you can download a free software such as DaVinci Resolve or OpenShot. OpenShot is a great option if you are just looking for a basic and intuitive software to cut and edit pieces of footage and audio together. This works with Macs, Linux, and Windows computers. 
If you need help using the software, their website has plenty of video tutorials on how to get started. They even have more advanced tutorials such as chroma keying, but that shouldn't be necessary for these copy and paste videos. To start editing, find all your footage, images and audio and gather them together. It is best to keep them organized inside of a folder. Then you will open up a new project on your editing software. Once that is opened up, go to your folder and drag your files onto your editing software. That will bring them all into the application. Find your flow, figure out how you want your footage to look, then start dragging the clips onto your timeline. You can edit the length by cutting so that it fits better. You can also slow down or speed up the footage to your liking. Fit the clips together so they are coherent and look nice. Play back your video to see how it looks. Continue to change it up to make sure it looks great. Keep checking the lengths of each clip. Are they too long? Short clips are quick cuts tend to help people stay focused on your videos. Next, you will grab your music file and drop that onto the timeline under your video files. Play with the volume to make sure it isn't too loud or too quiet. That will affect your video greatly. Keep it at a nice medium so it isn't too distracting. The music should be felt, not heard. Adjust your clip so the timing matches up with the music. It doesn't have to go with every beat, but it helps to make some beats match up so the video feels more impactful. Play back your clip. How is it? Does it feel like it resonates with you? If it doesn't, continue to edit it. Make the music and video flow together better. Lastly, you will be dropping in your audio narration. Much like the music track, you will need to find a volume that works with the video. The narration should be heard properly over the music, so adjust it accordingly. If the clips don't match with the narration, adjust it. Play back your video again. You should feel impacted while watching it. Maybe it will give you chills. Just continue to tweak it until you find it to be perfect. Then render your video. Render it with high quality settings. It should be in HD so it's enjoyable to watch. Then upload that to YouTube. Continue editing videos using their technique to create many of the same style of video with different variations. Maybe you could even find a niche. For example, if you like editing fitness videos together, maybe your main thing could be fitness videos. Or maybe you like to have a wide range of videos so you gather a larger audience. Find out what you like editing and what you are best at. Continue to upload as many videos as you can to get your viewership up and build an audience. Number five, monetize your video on YouTube. There are certain requirements needed in order to have your videos monetized on YouTube. You will need at least 1,000 subscribers and have at least 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months. With these kinds of videos, you should be able to hit these numbers with no issue. Just keep uploading them and watch the numbers rise. They're popular, so people will always be looking for new ones to watch and listen to. You'll also need a Google AdSense account, so go over to that site and set up an account so you'll be ready to go once you reach eligibility for monetization. As soon as you hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, go ahead and submit your page so they can review it and you can get monetized as soon as possible. There is also a way to make money off your videos before you become eligible by using ClickBank. So even if you aren't monetized yet, you can still earn money. Just go over to ClickBank and sign up. This will make you an affiliate. ClickBank has a large marketplace that is filled with products that you can promote. When people buy from your link, you can get anywhere from 40% commissions all the way up to 70% commissions. There are many different categories to choose from, so you can advertise based off who your videos are targeted to. If you're making a motivational workout video, you can advertise links to health products. If you're making artistic videos, you can advertise art and entertainment products. All you would do is take the link and add it to your description, then get people to click on it by telling them it is there. If people buy, you earn a percentage of those salaries. Monetizing your videos is a great way to earn a passive income. You can start today and watch your channel grow. These videos and techniques could earn you anywhere from $100 to $300 a day. It isn't a simple task at first, but after a while it gets easier to maintain. Using affiliate links is the simplest way to start out making money on copy and paste YouTube videos, but growing it so you will be able to monetize through ads should be your goal. This can help you earn some cash on the side of your current income. Don't forget to visit laptopjob.com to get started today.
Thanks for watching. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.